Welcome! You have a problem with your VPN to watch Netflix, then you found the right place. I'm going to specifically talk about ExpressVPN and how to solve problems there. But it should be applicable to your VPN service too. Unless you have a free VPN or like a cheap VPN, then it might not be working. If you want to know which VPNs are working, go below in the description, click on show more. Or if you're on a tablet or mobile phone below the video on the right, there's an icon, click on it and you will see the full description. Basically, I'm using ExpressVPN. I get a lot of offers of trying different VPNs since I make these videos. They contact me and say, hey, you know, do you want to check ours? And I mean, I tried a few and actually I always, I still use ExpressVPN because even for free, I wouldn't use the other ones because it's it's usually more difficult to install and use and they're like, it's slow and so on. So um, actually, yeah, I really love ExpressVPN. One thing I want to show you is here, I'm currently locked into the US Netflix and I can tell you I'm not in the US right now. It's just too crazy over there and um, I'm logged in here and my location is Miami at the moment according to show my IP but of course I'm using ExpressVPN to change my internet location. So what can you do if you have problems with your Netflix? First of all don't just click on um, you know the smart location or whatever. Look, you have so many countries to choose from, you know, hey, maybe you want to watch UK Netflix or French Netflix or German Netflix. You can do all that with ExpressVPN. But many people make this mistake and they just click here on United States. Let's do this. So what's what's happening now? It's connecting to USA, New York. And guess what? All the bozos out there that don't know better, they use just this. And so for Netflix, it's also easy to, to find out that, uh, yeah, a lot of people are um, using this specific site, which shouldn't be a big problem, but still, like there is a lot of traffic and probably then the server is slower because there are so many people just using this generic location. What you can do if it's not working, hey, guess what? Like New York is one of what 2030 on this list. I would assume people don't use the ones at the bottom very much, but you know, I prefer Tampa, Tampa, Florida at the moment. So yeah, I use Tampa. And if it's not working, I choose another one. Guess what? Like the chances are that some will work and then you can watch Netflix again. So choosing a different server location is the easiest solution. If you have a problem with your VPN, most good VPNs have several server locations in the US. Some only have like a handful or less, but um, good, good ones will have several and you should try all of them. Um, because yeah, it can happen that a server has some problems and then just choose another one and then it should be working. And by the way, like if you, if you would just want to check if you have the right country, if you go to netflix.com and you can open this page, then you are on the US side. Then if you, for example, would be in Canada, let's go to Canada real quick. Then we wait for the connection to establish and now we're in Canada. So now if I reload this page. See, now I can use the Canadian version. I mean, I'm this this mostly works when you're uh, not signed in. I would not recommend changing countries as you're signed in. In theory, it should work, but it's more much more obvious that you're doing this. And um, you want to try another one? Let's go to Europe. Let's go to France. Then continue. So now we're connecting to France and Paris and here in France, actually, there are also several server locations. So if this one would not be working, then you can choose another one. And here we have Fra France with English language. So here down below, I can also choose French. So now it's just the French. So you can 
check if it's working. And by the way, ExpressVPN has software for all devices, so you can install it on your phone, on your tablet, on your Xbox, on your PlayStation, on your Apple TV, wherever you want. They have software and apps. You can even install it on your router. They have detailed instructions how to install it on different routers. And as I said, look below in the footer, here, Help Support Center, you click on this and then you get to this page and then you have different options. You can troubleshoot, you can do the live chat or get instructions and they will help you. If you have problems with ExpressVPN, they have a 24 hour, seven days a week support center. So if you have a problem accessing Netflix with your VPN, then they will help you. That's why I really like ExpressVPN. And compared to free VPNs, free VPNs often don't work. If you're wondering why your free VPN is not working for Netflix, it's because yeah, they're shit. And also you should really Google free VPNs dangerous. There's a lot of danger in using a free VPN to enter the internet and good VPNs have a lot of advantages. They're much faster. They have access to a lot of countries with many server locations in single countries. They don't log any of your activity. They have high security encryption and so on. And you can also use several connections at once. So with ExpressVPN, I think it's five or six. So in theory, you could even share it with a friend or something, or just you know use it to watch Netflix on your TV and surf safely on the internet because mostly VPNs are a privacy and safety service. So because your router saves your browsing history, your internet service provider sees what you're doing and can save your browsing history, uh, public Wi-Fi, hotel Wi-Fi are not very safe and they can also see what you're doing on the internet. Your company Wi-Fi, if you're using your company Wi-Fi on your private phone to enter the internet. They can see what you're doing, how much time you spend on Facebook and so on. Mobile cell towers can be hacked and, and can save what you're doing. And of course, hackers on the internet and, and the government or uh, authorities, they can see what you're doing in theory if they want to. And um, with a VPN, you can prevent all this. I mean, most people think it's enough to clear your browser and browsing history on your browser, but there are many other places such as your router and your internet service provider that still have all this information. But of course, you can unblock the internet and circumvent cen censorship and geo-blocking. And um, yeah, there are many advantages of a VPN. So I hope now you know how to solve your problem to watch Netflix with a VPN. I don't know exactly what kind of problem you have, but I hope I could help to point you in the right direction to solve this problem. If you would give me a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. And otherwise, I just hope you enjoy watching the Netflix version you want. Maybe you already know you can use any country Netflix account to watch any other country's Netflix with a good VPN.